once again in this video what we will do we will see how to create a custom images in AWS by using Packer okay just like in our previous example when we create a custom image in Azure we use the single script to embed every single JSON template but in this case what we will do we will try to split the JSON template into two files one is your variables another one is your actual template the reason is your access key and secret key you shouldn't expose to everyone just like what we did on Azure service principle all the subscription client ID tenant ID secret key everything is exposed okay you guys might have seen on the uh, YouTube video itself but later on what I did I deleted from my portal then it's gone but actually in production how, how things will work you need to keep your variables in a separate file and assign the right permission so that others can't view those files and in your template you write the code and call the variables from the secret file called variable file which is saved in the same location how to do that and how we will deploy and how we will create the custom image we'll see in this you in this session right let's go ahead and download your templates at first stage so what I will do I'll go ahead and download the JSON templates from my github repository public repository can refer AWS backer is the repository name and go to your command prompt okay and right you have your Azure Packer folder so what I will do git clone so git clone go back and copy this it will again recreate the new repository from github folder go to AWS Packer you will see dot git folder you can ignore it and you'll see read me syntax and let me go to your visual studio and open it AWS variables now you will see what the variable contain your access key and secret key and username or password if you want to keep it you can set the password over here but in AWS deployments you will not set any custom passwords the system will generate the public and private key for you and moreover this is for your packer so in this you don't require any credentials because the image will be created and saved over there and you have to redeploy it when you are doing a redeployment you will use Terraform not the packer in that case these syntaxes will be required in Terraform variables right so let me go to notepad and this is my access key anyway it is exposed to everyone now once the demo is done it is my duty to clean up everything otherwise anyone can use my portal without my interaction paste it save it done variables has been saved now open the template go to open the custom AMI template let's understand the syntax again the builders builder section you are defining variables prior to builders and this will go and call the parameters from here run and then builder section type of the builder is your Amazon EBS and your access key and secret key you are calling from the variables and where you're deploying us east one and what is ami i'm calling this ami okay this is one of the existing linux machine i'm calling that ami and i'm trying to deploy it to micro it's fine and what i'm doing i'm using my username which i specified here okay and my name is this once the image is created you will see image with this name 
and tags will be associated with this and the provisional section you can specify the sum of the shell script inline shell script and you can install apache in it and save it as a custom image right so just like your azure linux custom image in azure what we used we used nginx to install custom image in aws we are using apache that is the difference or else you can use your own custom software which you want to integrate that you have to define in provisional section done what else we need i hope we have all the required things now go back to aws packer and copy your packer image or sorry packer exe file and copy it onto your aws packer folder go to powershell go in i really apologize in the last video it got struck so let me reconstruct the same session let's continue so we'll go to the folder here and execute the following syntax to build the custom image what is the syntax packer build hyphen var hyphen file variable file you need to supply in the form of hyphen var hyphen file and i think when i'm pressing that syntax it is being interrupted again it it got interrupted we can't do anything it's okay now it is in progress what is the syntax we executed the packer and the syntax now image being created see instance is stopped and awaiting for image creation go back to the portal and you will see ama will be created here in some time refresh it see ama is created it's pending so pending for snapshot creation if you look at it is pending for snapshot being created so 8 gb snapshot gonna take a little while once the snapshot is fully created out of the custom image you will see your ama is made available here go back to the script see ama is being ready ama is, has been initialized right and it's just waiting for snapshot to be created and realize the ama refresh still pending because snapshot gonna take a little while maybe few minutes we have to wait so i really apologize due to the script execution the custom image what we call it as syntax the custom image deployment syntax packer build variable file and whatever the ami during that time it got interrupted okay anyway now i'm it is now it is being recorded still pending it is still pending ami is dependent on your snapshot creation your snapshot creation is dependent on your instance it is already in the stop state once once it is completely stopped and data being copied onto a snapshot file okay this snapshot file will be attached to ami right that ami will add up additional cost as i mentioned for each and every ami the storage cost will be included in your aws billing Hang on, we can't do much. We have to wait until this finished. Come on, refresh. Pending, pending, pending. <laughs> One 
both are pending you see custom AMI will be created so now if I go back to instances create a new instance okay and my AMIs so far not complete you don't have any created AMIs once that AMI is completely realized and made available you will see custom AMI here okay go to EC2 and AMIs still it is pending still it is pending still it is waiting let's wait completed now you see available and go to instances custom AMIs you see now what you next with the custom AMI is now available now you can select and deploy the machine with the image we never touched we never created any image we simply executed one simple command that got created the custom AMI what is the syntax let's have a look packer exe build variable file and AWS demo AMI.json is the actual your template file and it has variable file has the access key and secret key so let me show you the mistake what I did go back to your my video recording and shortcuts how I will find out the shortcuts you see for pause I have assigned custom key W so the moment I press AWS when I press W it is automatically pausing the video since then no video recording I thought that it is recording on the back end it is not being recorded that is a mistake I made I will change that for sure but see this is how we can create the custom images Please make sure you are going to delete all these things once the practice is done. Go to EC2 AMIs deregister. It's just a snapshot copy which is presented in the form of custom AMI and the snapshot file you have to terminate it or you have to delete it in order to stop the billing once the practice is done these are the things that you guys have to make sure and also I will suggest go to IAM and also delete the access key and secret key whenever you need you can always get it just delete it right because these are already exposed I'm going to throw this video into YouTube and anyone can get the keys and start deploying the things if they are good at scripting they can use both the keys and start using my portal without my permission right better please delete it never ever keep these things while you're practicing it done with this I will conclude the packer session I hope you will enjoy the series of six or seven odd videos which I'll upload in the channel right if you really like the videos please subscribe my channel and also provide your feedback under the comment section all right thank you so much